Translate. Translated. Translated. Peace be unto you. So I think the world would be a little better place if everybody would greet each other. They would have to have days like that. Um, that being said, um, there's not a lot I can talk about specifically about the uh, North Carolina case or, or, or many of the, the instances. Although just watching the, uh, the video, you get a sense of what a huge loss this was for these three individuals. I mean, just seeing their pictures, you can see a glow coming off of all three of those individuals. And that's the loss of three Americans who just happened to be Muslim. Um, from the FBI side, I, I've been the, the supervisor for the Joint Terrorism Task Force for a bunch of years here. Um, what makes us strong, what makes us safe in Delaware is our size. You would think that well, we're small, but yes, we are small. I've met most of you in this room um, in the six years here. Um, and not just, hi, we've, we've broken bread, I know your families, I know your children. Um, we have relationships uh, that go back a span of time. Um, that makes us stronger. Um, I pushed an email out over the weekend and said that you know, that's part of the strength of this community. Um, it's what keeps you safer here. Um, the FBI director um, issued a statement, uh, I think last week, I was off for a couple of weeks. Um, but he issued a statement uh, last week, and he said basically the FBI is working ISIS cases, or cases related to ISIS, in 49 of 50 states. The only state that we're not working ISIS-related cases are Alaska. And as you know, we're not, as, as cold as it is, we're not in Alaska. Um, I need this community to win this fight. I need your help. And unless I can support you, and unless you trust me, I can't effectively do my job. So in the course of doing that, I've, I've made all these relationships in this, in this span of time. Um, I will tell you from, from the terrorism side, uh, for me and, and for all the folks who work for me, um, we just view it as people that are trying to hurt other people. It's, it's nothing more than that. We will work just as hard against a white supremacist or someone that wants to blow up an abortion clinic um, as we will against somebody who wants to cut off the head of a Coptic Christian um, on a beach somewhere or travel to Syria to go, to go fight in, in Syria. It doesn't really matter. They're all kind of the same sort of thing. So if there are specific threats that we become aware of, the full weight's going to come on, is going to come on uh, to those resources. And then certainly, in, and we've had plenty of examples uh, within the state where there are specific threats um, to the community or, or, per, or uh, uh, what we could foresee as hate crimes, that's literally like you're going to get the full weight of the FBI behind those investigations. And if it's not something that we can handle locally within the Wilmington office, we reach back to Baltimore. And if it's too big for Delaware and Maryland FBI to come in, just more resources start to pull in on those specific cases. Um, we have a very deep bench. We have a lot of professionals who know how to do these types of cases and investigations. But again, the bottom line is it's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about communicating instances. Um, just quickly, because I'm getting close to red. Um, uh, <laughs> You can, we can be very, we're very, very good at what we do when we're aware of it. Um, real quick, there was a case several years ago out in uh, Seattle, um, kind of a wacko white supremacist guy. He planted a bomb on the route of the MLK march somewhere in Washington State. Very sophisticated device. It was activated on a key fob. They found the device before it went off. They rerouted the MLK parade. and. It never went off to her money. Why it was so hard, he didn't talk to anybody. He lived off of one of these little mountain top ranges. Never talked to anybody about it, never discussed it, never got online. Hey, I'm gonna you know, do this. I, I don't like you know, this person or that person. It's, those are very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult to get in someone's mind who doesn't say anything to anybody. Um, so there's always going to be, and you saw it in the video, disturbed people, damaged people that want to hurt and tear down other people. 
um, but it's it's communities and it's relationships that sort of melt away that melt that away. Um, I'm in the red, so I'm going to stop. I only where's where's Ahmed? I was not aware there were cheetahs. Uh, uh, <laughs>